murder kill. 22 miles long, draining 106 square miles of Kent County, rising just west of Felton and reaching the Delaware Bay at Bowers Beach. Most of the murder kill watershed is agricultural and forested land. For decades, the murder kill has suffered persistent high nitrate and phosphate levels and abnormally low rates of dissolved oxygen. We're, we're here at Bowers, Delaware. Uh, we're at a, we're on actually we're standing right now on the Bowers Municipal Dock. This is called the Lobo. It's the Kent County Lobo. So this is our instrument, but it stands for Land Ocean Biogeochemical Observatory. It's useful because you can get the data real time. We are directly funded from the Kent County Levy Court because they operate a wastewater treatment plant that drains into the murder kill. And one of the questions they have, which is a management and a permitting question, is to what extent is the wastewater treatment plant uh, the source of nutrient loads that come past here and get out into Delaware Bay versus the watershed and the agricultural uh, activities in the watershed and domestic activities. There are also houses there on septic systems, how much they contribute. So one of the balances is to, is to ask the question of what can we say about the relative importance of those sources for nitrogen, for phosphorus. All of those issues are interested in, in uh, to the wastewater treatment plant, to DENREC, and to the US EPA because these are regulatory issues having to do with the Clean Water Act, the, the obligation of governments to maintain clean water that's fishable, swimmable, in some cases drinkable. Although this is seawater, we don't worry about drinkable here so much. It uh, serves the function of treating all of the uh, wastewater of Kent County, some of uh, northern Sussex and uh, some of uh, southern Newcastle and we serve uh, well over 120,000 people here at this facility, about uh, 12 and a half million gallons per day of wastewater. The USGS is actually measuring the flow here continuously while we're measuring the chemistry. And using the flow and the chemistry, we can get loads, which is what DENREC is interested in. As a result of all this work that has been done as part of this intensive monitoring and new modeling work and maybe new criteria for murder kill, there will be a new TMDL, total maximum daily load, which may require Kent County facility to maybe upgrade their treatment plant, reduce the load, and also uh, the load from watershed to be reduced uh, by putting best management practices on ag land, maybe on uh, uh, homeowners, those kind of things. So best management practi practices will be in place as part of the revised TMDL and new criteria. We wanted to identify what is causing the low dissolved oxygen. Is it because of discharge from treatment plant, runoff from farms, those kind of things, or it's occurring naturally. And as a result of our study, we found that major impact is tidal marshes, and that's why we are revising it. Well, I'm working on a fellowship through the DuPont Clear into the Future program, and they support uh, different fellowships and research that are asking new questions about how we can have good science supporting Delaware Bay. With uh, Sarah uh, Fisher, she actually got a fellowship to, uh, to work on this estuary to try to test some new techniques for basically source tracking and saying, can we identify where the nutrients are coming from using the isotopic composition? I am studying um, the freshwater branches of the estuary down through um, the main stem itself for new chemical signatures called stable isotopes. And what that allows us to do is get some new information um, about how nitrate moves about in the environment. And um, the LOBO is really important for integrating a more complex process over different seasons. What we have today is just a uh, <clears throat> biological process, which is what we call <clears throat> uh, secondary treatment. You have the uh, microorganisms breaking down the waste load coming in, what you see behind here in the aeration basins. In the background, you also see the blower building where all the air is generated and uh, put into the basins. Now, in the, in the future, once the TMDLs or the total maximum daily loads are uh, promulgated, we will have full filtration and nutrient removal systems in addition to the clarification which we have today. Today, the water is discharged in the uh, gut approximately in this direction. And it was a man-made channel, trapezoidal channel, which just runs straight to the Murderkill River. We're planning on building a half a mile natural stream channel meandering 
with uh, re-aeration which would go in the opposite direction and still end up in the Murakil River but it's, uh, it's going to have fully re-aerated and uh, be a very, ni very nice stream. If we don't do the research and try to uh, develop the best criteria we can have and the most cost-effective treatment process, the end users and the people of Kent County will have to pay it in their rates and we won't get the best benefit for the buck. Some of the uses of the water here, for example, in Merlekill is for fish and wildlife, uh, so that the fishing and other uses of the water can be protected. Also, it's a human health issue with bacterial levels. It can impact human health. I think people should care because once they know, they can get on board um, and do s stuff around their home or, you know, business practices that support good water quality.